Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, welcome to my channel, Cherry. Well, it has been a while since I posted. You know, I was looking at my channel this morning, and I'm at like uh, 497 videos. I best get my butt moving, right? <coughs> well, <clears throat> I wanted to give you an all an update. You know, I didn't do a uh, best of 2021 or anything like that because I don't edit my videos. So what you see is pretty raw footage. I have been busy. You know, a lot has come my way in the month of December. I left my property in Arkansas October 18th. Well, you know, a month later, um, I was not really celebrating, but uh, it had been a year since I had buried my mom. So I spent some time at the cemetery and with family, and then, of course, Thanksgiving. And before I knew it, I was planning toy drives. So in the month of December, I had headed three toy drives as well as took water, food, clothes, toys into Kentucky. When I was in the Ohio River Valley area, I did not film. I don't uh, believe in, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, but uh, banking off of someone else's misfortune, I guess, is a good way of putting it. I did film a little bit when I was in Indiana, you know, which is just right across the, the river from the Ohio and Kentucky part of it. And, uh, you know, checked out my storage unit that I had put out there in 1998. You know, I'm not really going to go into a lot of that, but it has been stored for a really long time, right? I did not bring anything out of that storage unit with me, and I probably should have, but I didn't. Everything is fine right where it is. I was able to check on everything that was in there to make sure everything was still there, and it was. Um, let's see. Oh, and then after that, of course, you know, on my way home, I did not realize that there was a big fire out in Colorado, out uh, real close to me. It's probably about 25 miles from me, 30 miles. No idea. My phone started going off as I was uh, starting to leave Kansas. I was in Hayes, Kansas, spent the night in Hayes, Kansas, before I came into Colorado. My phone just started going off, and I'm starting to check messages and stuff. And before I know it, um, I got into Colorado about two in the afternoon, and the next day I hit the ground running, just running. Um, we still had... Um, not so much toy drives anymore than it became monetary drives. You know, uh, a lot of people in Colorado had donated clothing, furniture that they had asked that nobody donate anything like that because they didn't have anywhere to house any of it. So we started uh, giving out um, gift certificates. You know, and it's really hard to know who, they, they all deserve it. The destruction was just immense. You know, when your heart just breaks for all the people that lost their homes, their pets, um, nowhere to store their livestock. So as a club, you know, of course, we had, we didn't have to. We wanted to because that's what is, uh, it, that's what life is all about. You know, it's helping each other and, and giving a hands up, you know, instead of a hands down. Let's uh, lift each other up. You know, I don't ever want to make anybody feel bad because of what happened to them. So, you know, as far as throwing out applications or anything like that, as far as how they can receive help from the club or any of the Volkswagen shops in the Denver area, we don't do that. We don't. Uh, it's, so it's hard to know who needs the help. Everybody needs the help. So distributing gift cards and and the support and the love and anything else that our community would need, we were there. Uh, that's, like I say, what it's all about. Then, of course, let's see, January, New Year's Eve, you know, so I spent Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. We all know how that went. New Year's Eve, I, I did make it home before the first snowstorm hit uh, Colorado. Uh, like I say, I got in about 2 and it started snowing around 4 p.m. and I got in at 2 p.m. So, whew, I tell you, talk about, you know, 
pedal to the metal all across Kansas, you know, just trying to beat that storm. When I left Indiana, I did hit a lot of nasty, nasty weather. Uh, fog, it fog. It followed me all the way from like Indiana, uh, well, the Dillsboro, Lawrenceburg area, all the way into Indiana, into Illinois, Missouri. Uh, the fog all day just followed me. I don't think I hit sunshine until I hit maybe in the middle of Kansas. It was a, it was before haze, you know, coming west. So let's tell you a little bit about what's going on now. <laughs> the reason why I'm able to take so much time off. Let's uh, tell you a little bit about that. You know, things aren't going so good, but I'm blessed. You know, um, when I came back to Denver from Arkansas, I went back to the restaurant, but the restaurant had closed. Um, they, it just, COVID just destroyed the restaurant industry. So, uh, yeah. So I was offered a job of going into the front desk and making reservations and handling the front desk. I needed a job, I took it. Well, what I didn't know at the time is they did not tell me that I was gonna go from 48 hours a week to two, I, did, I worked two hours last week. You know, when it's a 50 hour drive, it's 25 miles there and 25 miles back and two hours just isn't worth that. I am getting ready, I got my uniform shirt on. I am getting ready to go in, I gotta be in there at two. Um, I'm scheduled for two hours today and two hours tomorrow. Uh, for this pay and for the amount of hours, I would have been better off staying in Arkansas. Uh, so what the plan is now is I am not abandoning my homestead. I am not uh, giving up my channel. I am just trying to recoup from all of this misfortune that's handing the world. You know, I can take care of myself. I don't know how. You know, two hours a week isn't much. But um, I'm very blessed, right? So the plan is is to, I believe I get my W-2 form today. Gwen already got hers. She got hers her last day that she had worked for the week. And this is my Monday. So hopefully it'll be there as soon as I can get them um, filed. It'll be electronically and then within two weeks, I guess I'll see it in my account. Once that happens, I'm going back to Arkansas. I don't know how things are gonna work out or if I'm gonna stay or how long I'm gonna be there. But my mission on this one is to get the utility line dropped and everything else like that is just gonna come later. Um, yeah, I'll be at It's All Grady's, a wonderful family and friends. You know, you choose your friends, but then your family chooses you. I mean, not your blood family. I hope you understand that, but they became a family and they're all very dear to my heart. And I'm so excited to see Denise and Marcel and you know, just the safety of Gage because, you know, he's like big burly and he just has that sense of security that he just emits. He just radiates, you know, and my personality kind of gravitates towards that. So I'm very excited to see them and spend time with them and uh, be on their homestead. So that's kind of like the plan. Like I say, I'm not uh, leaving my homestead. I'm not abandoning it. You know, when I went out there, um, in September I went there for the mission and the purpose of knowing what needs to be done what do I need to do to retire on this land what needs to be uh, immediate addressed and, what, and I found out right I really did and uh, I got this I know I got this so um, guys I had the most awesomest thing happen to me Denise told me that you can get puppies from Walmart. So, well, you know, we all know where uh, Gidget came from. She got Gidget from Walmart. And I think, well, I could get a puppy dog from Walmart. So I was going to Walmart, and every time I went, I would, like, drive around the parking lot looking for a puppy. No such luck. 
Well, if a lot of you follow me on my Instagram page, I had posted that I was at Walmart looking for a puppy in Little Rock. Guys, you never believe it. Jamie and Sean from Out in the Woods Homestead uh, reached out to me, and I got a puppy. So I am going to um, find out how to get Come Here, Go Away to my homestead. I believe Jamie and Sean are about a six-hour drive they're on just the other side of Arkansas, I'm north, and uh, they're south. They're out by, more towards Louisiana, and I'm up more towards the Missouri. So we're gonna have to figure out how we can get come here to the homestead. So I'm really excited. And I did ask Jamie, you know, if she was in a time limit, uh, or how long, uh, you know, come here can stay there. And she said that he can stay there until I get there. Yay! I'm just so excited and so stoked about that. So um, let's go back to the homestead and uh, my homestead and why I left. And a lot of it was for security. So since September into now, well, you know, since I've been back, they end up, you know, middle of October, November, December, three months. It's not quite in the middle. Yeah, I guess it is three months is I address the security problem, right? So I am completely prepared with Pew Pews. I got a very beautiful, beautiful puppy dog. And his name is Come Here, Go Away. And um, yeah, so that was uh, my, my issues. My main issues were security and I got those taken care of. So Arkansas, here I go. I'm really excited. Like I said, I don't know how long I'll be there. It all depends how things work out. Everybody has a dream of doing YouTube full-time. I would love to do YouTube full-time. Um, but I've noticed, you know, since I've kind of not been putting out so much content, I'm losing subscribers. I am still over the 1,000 mark, uh, and I just need to maintain that. I'm at 1,028. So guys, I am not proud. I am I'm not. I am not proud to ask for I need watch hours. I need subscribers. And the only way to get that is to put out content and uh, not be so laxed, right? So um, only working, you know, the two hours a week at one job and then at the shop, there's really not much happening there as well. When I left Arkansas, my uh, position was filled. And when I came back, I couldn't just say, well, I can't get the heck out, you know, get out of my office. You know, that's not cool. So uh, I'm not really working a whole lot at the, at the shop either. You know, so I'm just kind of basically hanging in on uh, the hours and whatnot that I have. And, you know, I haven't been a whole lot on YouTube either as far as like other people's lives or other people's channels because with my cell phone, I've got the top of the line uh, plan. So it's supposed to be unlimited data, unlimited texting, phone, bullshit. I call BS on that. I have noticed that my the first two weeks of my uh, payment cycle, I will get okay internet, you know, but those last two weeks, I don't get anything. So I try to save my data which is just crazy to me. I should be able to ac my, access my phone at any given time. Whether it's the first two weeks of the billing period or the end of the two weeks billing period, I should have internet. But I don't. It starts to lag. I think it's called, um, I know there's like a technical name for it, trickling. I, I'm not quite sure. I'll have to check with my sign, but I do know that there's a technical name for it, and it's not fair. So it's not that I am avoiding anybody. It's just I have to, you know, be careful with my data because there might be something or, you know, an emergency or whatnot that I might need to take care of online and not have that internet. You know, I could uh, go into my office and, you know, with only two hours last week, I was there long enough to reboot my phone update all my updates you know because i needed wi-fi to do all the updates and uh you know do work and then i left i didn't have time to play on my phone 
So today, like I say, I have to be there at 2. When I get there, I will log on to the Wi-Fi there and do all my updates and try to load, you know, download this video. You know, I just find it so sad that um, all of the kids that are doing the virtual learning and, you know, you at night you go to like, you know, people work and at night you go to McDonald's for dinner and the parking lot and the restaurant's kind of busy because there's parents there that are trying to do whatever it is that they're doing, you know, trying to decompress from their jobs, but they have to be there for their children because their children are uh, getting the Wi-Fi from the restaurants or, you know, from McDonald's or whatnot. And I tried doing that like two weeks ago and it was just insane. And, you know, you never know how secure uh, your internet is there, you know, using McDonald's or even Starbucks. So, whew. That was a long wing and didn't like I did like a whole video and really didn't talk about anything. So um they were you know, I guess I did. I gave you an update as far as what my plans are. I do plan on heading back to Arkansas, hopefully within you know, I you know, get my W two form two weeks to process it and get it into my account. I'm hoping by the end of February or somewhere, but you know, around the end of February, first of March of heading into Arkansas and I am so excited so excited you know i'm very homesick for my piece of land my own little piece of mountain you know i i nicknamed um that area shady mountain i love the name i love it everything about it is just so fitting um all the trees you know the canopy on my line is uh, on my land excuse me is uh, the canopy is really shady so i don't get a lot of sunshine we're going to change that um, yeah, and then of course, you know, just my neighbors who, you know, believe it or not, I really do miss. You miss the characters and, um, yeah, but the one from the old man, Kyle, that would sit on his ATV in the back of my property and look in. You know, there was nothing harmful uh, about that. It's just kind of scary being a single female in my first time uh, out there. I'm not so scared anymore, guys. I'm really not. And uh, having come here, go away on the property is going to really help. You know, and Jamie tells me, sure, you know, you can change his name. And I thought, hmm, maybe come here, his new name's going to be Winchester. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Oh, well, anyway, thank you for uh, being patient with me and watching this video. And, you know, listening to my um, rant, I suppose, um, about what is going to go on in 2022. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Super excited. Super exciting. Everyone, you got to stay tuned. It's big. Everyone, have a good day. Once again, thank you for watching and God bless. Stay beautiful.